Ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Cameron Stewart calling in here. Calling in here from a field, actually, a very big vacant field out here in South Auckland. And uh, I think it uh, is quite good considering the title of this, what I'm going to talk about here is I think um, the art of communication in today's society is, uh, is, is definitely fading. And g'day Sam, how are you mate? Um, the art of communication is definitely fading in today's world. We are so insular in the way that we're living. Um, so many people are feeling vacant inside their mind. And if you look at this field behind me, there's no one here. Now, when this field's filled with kids running around kicking a ball and all that sort of stuff, it, uh, it comes to life, doesn't it? But when it's barren like this and there's no one around, it's just a field. And I think uh, in, in a lot of people's lives today, we've, we've forgotten to actually communicate with others. We've, we've become so insular in our thinking. Um, we've become so isolated in our minds. And because of uh, social media, which, is, uh, which, I don't, which I'm on right now, people have become very distant um, and insular. And, you know, they, they, they hide behind phones. They hide behind... Uh, cameras, they hide behind whatever, um, and they, they've, they've forgotten to actually what, what's actually really important in life, which is that, which is communicating with others. I always say to people, um, a stranger is just a friend that you've never met yet, and every day I probably meet, you know, somewhere between two to five different people. I just make it a habit that I put out my hand and shake hands with others. And um, I think that's very much getting lost in today's society. If you look at social media and you look at what's happening out there, um, people are just so caught up in their own minds. So, you know, you know I've talked about it previously in another uh, message that I did, that anxiety and depression's at an all-time high. And it's because people are, are not communicating with others. They're sitting down, watch, they're coming home from work, they're in a negative environment at work, they're coming back from work, and then they're going... Um, home and they're watching television and they're doing stuff that's mundane uh, that's not giving them what they need because as, as human beings we need to be around others we need to be around other people so that we can you know we can feel the energy we can feel the love from others and all the rest of it and in today's world that's going and uh, people you know spend so much time you know on watching television going watching movies you know, instead of getting out, playing sports, interacting with others. You know, a lot of the young people are hooked up in video games and all of this sort of stuff. I don't understand that personally, but, you know, each to their own. But what's it, what that's doing is it's making our society very, very isolated and people have lost, lost their... Uh, communication skills. I sit down in front of a lot of people and uh, you know so many people can't look at you in the eye and actually you know that people don't know what it is that they're looking for in life anymore and uh, I've, I've also in a previous uh, video like this I, um, I talked about you know a lot of the young people that are coming out of university and uh, they're coming out and they're very very discontent. G'day Feroza, how are you mate? Um, very discontent with what, how their life's going because they, they, they've been promised this and that and they're not getting the results that they're looking for in life. And I think a lot of people feel like this vacant field, you know, they feel like, you know, that they're all alone. You know, a lot of people feel like they're all alone in their mind, so they're standing inside of a field like this. I, th I know when I've been, had the times in my life when I was a bit down and out and all the rest of it, I remember, you know, being in a big field like this and just thinking, you know, in, in my mind and feeling like I was alone, but none of us are alone. We have heaps of people around us that we can talk to, heaps of people around us that can help us. But you've got to start to use the communication skills that you're born with, and I think that is just getting lost in today's world. And, and look, the reason why I do these videos is not for, um, you know, go, whoa, look as me, or anything like that. It's just to, I feel like it's something that I need to do. It's part of who I've, you know, part of, you know, what I do today. I, I've done, you know, 170 odd videos now. And I feel like um, there's a lot of people out there that are living in pain and they're struggling and they're not communicating with anyone else about it. And all the reason for my videos and the messages that I put out is to help people realize that you're not alone. You know, like this field, when all the kids are here and they're playing and they're running around and 
this, this field comes to life and that's what happens to you when you're around people. So if you're sitting in an insular world, you're, you're sitting at home watching TV and you're not communicating with others, well that's what ends up happening, you end up being like this vacant field and you feel lonely. You feel, you feel empty and that's why you need to, to communicate with others and, and get around other people. Get around an association of people that actually is there to help you grow and, and move forward because, you know, life's short guys. You know, life's short and look, we've got to make the most of each and every day and that's why I started doing these videos online. I know it's a bit strange for some people to probably understand why would you do videos and stuff online and talk the way you do. and. I don't know, it was just something that I felt like I needed to do and uh, you know, I really enjoy doing this stuff, I find it helps me grow, it helps me learn other things about myself, it took away the fear of worrying about what, what uh, took away the fear about worrying about what other people think and uh, I think a lot of people are just so caught up in their own head, um, they just need to, to, they just need to get out, they need to get around the right people, they need to associate with people that lift them up, you know, disregard the people in your life that aren't adding value. You know, there's plenty of good people out there that can add value to your life. So, I hope this helps in some way or form, but I was just driving past this field and it's actually, it's quite funny, I've never walked around here before. Um, I was just going out uh, to, to, to a meeting out here in uh, Botany and uh, so I'd, I thought I'd call in and, and still, I thought this would be quite a, a bit of a different look than in the ute. So, uh, I've got my selfie stick, so people might be watching from afar a field thinking, what's that bald-headed mug? walking around in, in circles on a field for but it's because I felt like I needed to talk about this the more I talk about this and I say this to other people the more it's imprinted into my mind the more I uh, make it a, more of a habit to, to put it in my hand and shake uh, shake a, a stranger's hand and make a new friend because this, look as I say I always say this to guys in our team and the people that we work with that a stranger is just a friend that you've never met yet and uh, I know a lot of my really good friends today um, I never knew anyone when I come to Auckland now I've got a lot of really awesome uh, people around me and that's just been due to the fact that I've put out my hand and shook and said what do you do where are you go where are you from you know what what is it that you want to achieve and I think most of us are so caught up in our in our own head we don't take the time out to actually ask other people what is it, what is it that they're actually trying to do and where are they wanting to go you know I know when that was asked of me I, I, I really got quite pumped up when someone asked me that question because it's not really something that we all ask others is it so I hope you're all having an absolute cracker of a Friday as you see I said it's Friday Friday is just another day for me uh, I, I, I'm not caught up in the whole seven days uh, uh, you know a week thing and, and the, the whole job scenario so Friday is just another day for me but I hope you're all keeping safe out there I hope you're all having an awesome Friday and I hope you go and have a couple of beers tonight and enjoy your Friday night. Get out, socialise, get around people, have a cracker of a day. I'm Cameron Stewart and I'm going to try and turn this thing off now. So have an awesome day guys. See you next time.